Your cell phone, your wallet, your time, your ideas, no barcode, no party, no ID, no beers, your bank card, your license, your thoughts, your fears, no SIM card, no disco, no photo, not here, your blood, your sweat, your passions, your regrets, your profits, your time off, your fashions, your sex, your pills, your grass, your tits, your ass, your laughs, your balls, we want, we it want your soul. Your fats, your fears, give us your address, your shoe size, your ears, your digits, your plans, your number, your eyes, your schedule, your desktop, your details, your life. Show us your children, your photos, your home. Here, take credit, take insurance, take a loan, get a job, get a pension, get a haircut, get a suit, play the lottery, play football, play the field, or some toot. We'll show you things, we'll show you things, we'll buy you things. We'll sell you crap, we'll charge you back Wanna buy big guns in the front of cash Your love, your dreams, your checkbook, your essence, your sweat, your screams, your security, your sobriety, your innocence, your society, yourself, your place, your distance, your space. Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control again. Here, watch this. Shut up. You are free to do as we tell you. You are free to do as we tell you. Here's Britney, here's Cola, here's Pizza, here's TV, here's some rock, and some roller. Watch commercials, more commercials, watch Jerry, not Oprah. Buy a better life, from the comfort of your sofa. Here's popcorn, here's magazines, here's milkshake, here's blue jeans, here's padded bars, here's armpit wax, here's football shirts, here's baseball caps, here's live talk shows, here's video games, here's Cola Life, here's tin bowling, here's filter tips, here's college minutes, here's all night long, here's plastic hips. <laughs> Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control again. Here, here's American Gladiators. Watch this. Shut up. Go back to bed, America. Here is American Gladiators. Here is 56 channels of it. Watch these pituary retards bang their fucking skulls together and congratulate you on living in the land of freedom. Here you go, America. You are free. Jones, who is Judge? Jones, Jones, National Security Advisor for Obama. Jones says he takes the daily orders from you. He gave me that to talk to CFR. But I just want to know, are you still giving out orders like Memorandum 200, where you said depopulation should be announced? Sir, just a question. I'm not going to go to hell. Memorandum 200, sir. Wait, yeah. Memorandum 200. Just ask him a question about Memorandum 200 that he wrote in April 24, 1974. It's an honest question. Okay. Kissinger, Memorandum 200. Depopulation. We're on top of that. We I know. Here, we give you the access. If you want to burn bridges, you can do that. I don't want to burn any bridges. I did. I wasn't disrespectful. I wasn't accusatory. It was a serious question. We're on top. Okay, I understand that. So, what about the depopulation? I mean, Memorandum 200. Okay. Why, why, why are you afraid to talk about your depopulation plan? Why don't you get lost? Why don't I get lost? It's serious. Big proof. Big proof. And Henry Kissinger, who was responsible for um, programming me with what he called government mind files where I was used as a human computer and he took me with him um, to different places uh, to do foreign policy and, and meetings where he would access my mind behind the scenes in order to work with 
the people that he was working with, with Rockefellers and some of the other people that I was involved with in bringing in the New World Order. Um, the agenda that, that uh, Henry Kissinger was the mastermind of is very, very sophisticated and involves a lot of people. It involves presidents, it involves governors, it involves foreign leaders. And in my experience, and because Henry decided that for whatever reason I was the one selected to be used as this human tape recorder that he sent around the world um, in order to um, target certain individuals that they wanted to own or control or use and manipulate through sexual encounter and then by either passing messages to these people or retrieving messages. He also used me to send messages back and forth between George Bush and a lot of other different world leaders who were um, very instrumental and still are in bringing out the New World Order. The title to my special order tonight is Just a Bad Dream. Could it all be a bad dream or a nightmare? Is it my imagination, or have we lost our minds? It's surreal, it's just not believable. A grand absurdity. Johnny, where is your where does your Mad Hatter come from? We all know that with Jack Sparrow it was Keith Richards. Is there a Mad Hatter that we might know that you've been inspired by? Uh, no, he's just. I mean, the Hatter was a kind of maybe a combination of um, people that I've known over the years or written, you know, kind of um, watched over the years and sponged from. Um, but mostly, there's a, the, to the Hatter. The Hatter for me was, it was the idea of, instead of just going in to try and play, you know, mad, crazy, funny, whatever, but to, to have a couple of extra, some, some other layers, as if there, you know, there's some damage there, there's some trauma there, and uh, um, that he could, uh, you know, go from extreme rage to extreme. Uh, fear to extreme levity and all in a matter of seconds. So that was a kind of a challenge. For was me. that the whole Carol, like <clears throat> Mad as a Hatter, and the research you did about, you know, going through like, the whole. You know, what, uh, investigating things that begin with the letter M, which was, in fact, it's a, it's a little clue that Carol drops in the book and. Um, if you do a little research, you find out that the M he's talking about mercury, mercury poison for hatters was a very common uh, uh, issue back in the 19th century because the, there was mercury in the glue they used. So they would all go a bit daffy. That's where that term came from. There's a lot of great effects in this film. First of all, your eyes, are they just simply contact lenses or is there something amazing going on? There were, there were enormous contact lenses. There were, there were giant things that... Uh, that were very uncomfortable, and then you know, and then um, Tim did. Uh, there's a bit of alteration. Yeah, he just had him size. open his eyes up wide for 20 seconds. But I don't know. I mean, some kids, like it's like kids are like adults. Some be too much. I'm guessing not. your kids are quite cool and can handle certain things. I've got this vibe. I don't know where I'm getting it from. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the title to my special order tonight is "Just a Bad Dream." be a bad dream or a nightmare? Is it my imagination or have we lost our minds? It's surreal. It's just not believable. A grand absurdity.
illusion of momentous proportions. Insanity passed off as logic. Slavery sold as liberty, violence the tool of change. Sexual abuse went into child pornography, but as, as a little child, it was so natural to me to be in a sexual mode all the time that um, reaching out when I, I saw someone aroused was just a normal thing for me to do. My sexuality was never suppressed. I was never told that's wrong. I was never, you know, it was encouraged. So I just grew up thinking that was, that was the norm. With the abuse that I went through, it's as though uh, my spirit was removed from it. You know, like it took flight. It, um, it was a safe place. One that was actually in flow while my body was being directed by other people and ended up, you know, being involved in things I had no way I was ever to When I was a really young child growing up in Muskegon, Michigan, this would be the early 60s. I was born in 1957. My father had been sexually abusing me as far back as I can remember. And he often bragged of substituting his penis for my mother's nipple while I was an infant. So my sexuality was heightened from a very, very early age. And I also developed what is known as dissociative identity disorder. It was formally termed multiple personality disorder, but has since been redefined because it's not multiple personalities, but the shattering of a personality and a compartmentalization of memory, of trauma, too horrible to comprehend. Childhood sexual abuse is certainly too horrible to comprehend. There was no place for that in my mind. This compartmentalization of memory was what the government was interested in because they figured that if a person couldn't think to bring to mind abuse, they wouldn't be able to think to bring to mind government secrets, government perversions, or anything else they wanted compartmentalized in the brain. My experience as a mind control slave on a White House Pentagon level was extreme. I was totally robotic. I had no 
capacity to think for myself. I didn't have any free thought whatsoever. I didn't even have the ability to question, to reason, or consciously comprehend what I was involved in. Special order tonight is just a bad dream. Could it all be a bad dream or a nightmare? Is it my imagination or have we lost our minds? It's surreal, it's just not believable. A grand absurdity.